Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. So, as you can see, I have returned to the Tempest after we spent some time on Aladdin finishing well, a bunch of stuff yesterday. And I have been leveling up a few times in recent episodes and I started to build my fourth profile. Um, as I mentioned, I wanted to invest more points into Biotics and I decided that if I go Biotics, why not um, go all out and take Singularity? So I have leveled up my Singularity um, completely and basically I just took my Vanguard profile and um, replaced the Incinerate with the Singularity. So I have Charge Overload Singularity and I'm using the Adapt preset for this profile. I will probably modify this um, in the future, maybe replace Charge with something different, like, I don't know, maybe Throw. It can detonate Combo Primus 2 or maybe um, Annihilation. Although I still would need at least like one power that can detonate um, Primus. Um, although I think my, my Overlord can actually do that, right? So um, we'll see how I will um, modify that profile. But um, like I said, I wanted to have one profile that is more biotic based. So yeah, we'll see um, how this is going to work. Anyway, I have some plans for today's episode. Basically, I would like to do PB's um, loyalty mission and for that I have to go and speak to her in the escape pod. So yeah, let's get right to it and see what she wants. Hey there, what's new? Ha! Huh, funny you should ask. I need to know, if I had something really important to do, could I count on you to help, to come along? Well, you seem really excited. If it's as exciting as you make it sound. It's pretty damned exciting. Thanks to my newly remnant augmented scanner, I'm on to something big. Hear that signal? Best I can tell, it's coming from a piece of raw remnant programming tech. A building block in an unused state. My eyes bulge thinking what we might be able to learn from it. Or do with it. It's like a rem tech wild card. The kind of mystery I live for. I have to get it. There's no time to waste, right? <laughs> well, can you tell me more about this? What are the implications of this device, whatever it is? At the very least, it'll strengthen our bridge to Remnant technology. Even just getting closer data readings could help us break down Remnant programming, use their tech more efficiently. I need to find it. Like, now. Well, now that now is gone, so... now! Alright, well, um, let's go then. Okay. That's it? No preamble, no further interrogations, just okay? You're in? I'm in. Yes! That your game means the world to me. Loading the coordinates into the galaxy map. Consider me primed and ready. When have I ever shied away from an adventure? Of course I'm in. So, go to Pass 10 in the Inalara system. I'm pretty sure I have not visited that system before. So, let's punch it into the galaxy map. And yeah, we will come back to Aladdin later to finish off the remaining tasks. And Inalara is way over here. The Inalara system. Was that someone's name, Joel? Inalara is a virtue. To know your map, your course, right down to the blood. It's a good name for the brink of the unknown. I guess it is. But apparently the planet in question does not really have a name. It's just past ten. So, but let's have a look at it. Approaching the planet where PB's mysterious signal is emanating. Signal source is near a volatile volcano. I don't see a clear place to land. 
Wow, PB's right. Whatever's given off that signal is special. Prep your team. I'll try to find a safe spot. Okay, well, um, I can see a bunch of volcanic activity, or at least some lava on this planet. Let's scan it. Analysis. An inhospitable, unstable volcanic planet. There's evidence of a large-scale remnant complex mostly buried beneath the surface. The mysterious signal that PB discovered emanates from a section of this complex. It has pretty tolerable surface temperature though, so that's not too bad. But yeah, apparently we have to land on this active volcano. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, we're going to need PB. Um, so who do we want to take along for that? I don't know. Let's take Liam. And let's go. Where's PB? Who knows? <laughs> well, this is her mission. I, I kind of need her for this. So, where are you? Wake up, PB. Your mystery signal awaits. Uh, right. Okay, yeah. Actually, could you come here, please? My place. Straight away. Callo. Hey, any luck finding a place to land? Nothing yet. Might take a while. Okay, PB. Be right there. Straight away. PB? Back here. I won't bite. Uh, I'm not alone. Okay, I won't bite either of you. What's this about? Kala won't find a safe place to land the Tempest. What are you doing? Oh, and we're safety first. using the escape board. Um, well, I uh, never had a dull moment with you. You keep me on my toes, PB. I'm not used to being the reasonable one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I'm good point. I'm not doing this for the fun of it. The Tempest can't go where we need to be, and you can't get there from the ground. This is the only way in. In? Where exactly are we going? PB, where are we going? <laughs> it's not my fault the signal's coming from inside a volcano. And we should land on stable ground, assuming my subterranean scans are accurate. And the impact doesn't alter trajectory too severely. And... And tell me you have a plan for getting back to the Tempest. Is that a thing? We came all the way to another galaxy with no plan for getting back home. That's not all quite right. the same thing. Brace for impact. Oh dear. Well, I guess you can just send a shuttle or something? <laughs> so, um... Uh, are you mad, Ryder? <laughs> um... I'm not sure. I'm not mad, PB. <laughs> More like resigned to her fate, apparently. <laughs> A few meters off and... Toast. Any landing you can walk away from, right? Ryder, come in. Are you all right? Sam, relate to the Tempest that we're fine. Investigating PB signal. Right away. Okay, so we made it down. I'm picking up the signal. It's housed within a remnant structure not far from here. Sam, plot our trajectory. Plotted. This place looks pretty cool though. Look at those volcanoes and clouds and stuff. It's a very, um violet place, but I like it. Okay, so we need to make our way over to that place over there. There's probably not much to scan around here. We have some remnant structures, but um, they're not in a good state. Okay, let's go guys. We'll need to find our way to the surface. Um, oh, I see. This is kind of a cave. Need to get through that obstruction. Maybe there's a console buried here somewhere. Um, maybe. 
Remnant energy relay. Pathfinder, new? there are extensive remnant systems, but sudden tectonic instability overwhelmed them. Much of the infrastructure is buried. I see. Brittle obsidian. This obsidian formation was created by felsic lava to access the tech. that once flowed through these caves. It can be shattered by relatively high velocity impact due to its brittle nature. Remnant okay, power load detected see. within. Let's do that. Well, what do you know? Uh-huh. Can I destroy this one too? If I can, but kind of pointless. Okay. Let's have a look at it. Remnant power node. Accessing this node will allow you to enable the gate and proceed. The network you're accessing seems to be a production system. Production of what? Remnant hardware. Good. The gates are opening. You've opened more than that. I'm picking up structural ships throughout the cabin area. Meaning what? Interesting. That observer is in a persistent idle state. Its neural pathways are blank. It's like Pac when I stripped out its remnant protocols. It has no programming. So, you mean it's not going to attack us? That would be good. This observer is in a persistent pre-programmed state. Its neural pathways are blank. It poses no threat. Okay, um, that is good. Seismic activity increasing. Ooh. I'm picking up additional unprogrammed observers throughout the facility. At dispenser points, you should be able to enlist their support. Sweet! Let's do that. Okay, so I can make them work for me. Fragmented remnant observer, suspected cause of irreversible damage, collapse of the nearby infrastructure. Pathfinder, this site was a manufacturing center. That's a collapsed outlet point for an assembly line. Oh, okay, so they made remnants here. This was once an outlet point for an assembly line. It has been devastated by tectonic activity and overrun by lava flows that have hardened. I get it. So, um... Let's look around a bit. Assembly line dispenser. Activating it should dispense an unprogrammed observer that will ally itself to you. Okay. So let's see how I activate it. You are identifying yourself as an ally to the unprogrammed observers in the assembly line. Hey there, little guy. Nice to have you on the <laughs> team. Its protocols are limited, but it will perform simple tasks for you via your scanner. Okay, um, that's good. That's back where we came from. Been there, done that. Really? This is back where I came from? Oh, this is a console that I just um, used to get here. Uh, well, in that case, let's not go down there. Kind of scared me. Another gate. Have to get through. Look, up there above the gate, another node. Try scanning it. Uh huh. Remnant gateway. This is a dormant remnant partition gate. In order to restore functionality, power must be initialized and stabilized via its associated power node. Like this one. That node controls the gate. But it's disabled. Too high to access. Our new friend knows what to do. Ah. And okay. Voila. Thanks, buddy. Let's push on. Very good. Also, can I start this? Oh, look at that. There's actually stuff inside here. So maybe I should keep destroying the stones. Already broken down to its basic components. Very useful. All right, um, let's move on. Pathfinder, Kalu reports finding no safe area to land. Retrieval may be impossible. Uh, oops. He has detected a few smaller vessels making their way to the surface, however. Friend or foe? 
Unknown. Well, it doesn't really matter because um, if they're friends, they can help us. If they're foes, we can just take their vessels and use them to leave, right? So I'm I'm sure we're going to find a way um, out of here. Uh oh, I know that shuttle. Havasaria, are you tracking uh. that sweet signal too? Ugh, Kalinda, back off. It's mine. <laughs> Let's hurry. We have to get to the signal source before Kalinda. Okay, well, but I mean, she has a ship, so I feel that this might be our way out of here. But yeah, look at this place. This actually looks pretty amazing. Um, anyway, I guess I have to drop down here. Active observers. Fully programmed and deployed. Oh. We'll still react to you as an enemy. Another I see. Ahead. Let's clear them out. So, I don't know, let's try my new profile just for the heck of it. More incoming. So, I'll just put a singularity there. Of course, the singularity is not working on shielded enemies, I think. So oh, that's why I have my overload. And yeah, I'm not sure this is a very good place to use a charge with all the lava around. <laughs> and yeah, apparently I can detonate my singularity with my overload. And it's good to know. clear. All right. Now let's find some way to open that gate. Right. Let's do that. Ooh, my, my jump is different with this profile. Interesting. Anyway, let's scan around a bit. Is somewhere in this direction. Oh, I see a bunch of containers at, at least. Um, oh, I see. This is a random decryption key, and I can't take it because apparently you can only carry nine of those, which is weird. But okay. <laughs> My inventory should not be full because I have just. Um, Clean it out before starting the mission. There's nothing in these stones, so boring. Okay, we have another gateway here. But how do I open it? Apparently, console over here. Pathfinder, this console controls the gate. Here it goes. Good. The gate's starting to open. Thank you, Ryder. You opened a gate up here, too. Come on, boys. <laughs> We're in. She must be on a ridge above us. Shit, shit, shit! <laughs> well, um, Tell can't be helped. Yeah, the high road is much more direct. How the hell did you find us here, Kalinda? Guess you didn't notice the little transmitter I hid in Park. So sloppy. <laughs> Ta! Ugh! That... Ryder, we need to pick up the pace. What does that even mean, Ta? She keeps on saying that. <laughs> we have to make it across to the next ridge. Chasm's too far to jump. There may be a way to extend that antenna. Dormant turret. The control should be nearby. Okay. Find a way to extend the remnant antenna. We have an interface. Pathfinder, interfacing with this console should allow you to extend the antenna so you can jump across. Whoa. Okay. Major activity. I can't complete the hack, but you'll have to stay close. Oh, Incoming. um, I see. 
Um, yeah, if I have to stay close, I probably should not use a charging profile. Rebooting power from these other structures. And reducing our cover. Shit. We'll never catch Kalinda. <laughs> Hunker down. More remnant. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We just have to hold on for a moment. Take down that nullifier over here. No bots to fight up here. <laughs> Can you just shut up for a moment? Okay, we're almost done with the hacking. Okay, we did it. Is there still anyone attacking us? No. Let's just uh, keep on moving. Okay. Linda's men spotted on the upper ridge. Huh, they're in sniper range. Oh, I see you. But I can't actually attack you, I think. Pathfinder. There's another dispenser for unprogrammed observers in this area. Who cares? What matters is that mountain of rock is between us and the signal source. Well, maybe the remnants can help us um, do something about that. <coughs> Let's have a look around. There's something going on in this rock. Now we're in business. Activating yep. could draw hostile remnant. Of course. Anyone order a friendly observer? So Tim was right. It comes with a ton of angry bots. Okay, so At least we new friend is fighting for us. Have hostile ones. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Hang on That's a second. That is a help. damn destroyer, right? Okay. Let's use the turret. That guy came literally out of nowhere and spawned right into our face. Okay, um, one turret is down. Uh, I think I should get away from here. And find a better place to take cover. Okay, this should work out here. Oh, but someone else is attacking me here. Damn! Okay, now let's get back to the destroyer over here. And there we go. Woo! Um, but that. Still not all of them. We need to take down the remaining remnants over here. Oh, right. I forgot that another fire should have to do that. And one more over there. Damn. Pathfinder, interfacing is escalating tectonic activity. The area is becoming increasingly unstable. Great. Come on. We have to get past that boulder. Try to destroy it. The rock is too dense for your weapons, but there is a deep fissure that an observer's beam might be able to exploit. So scan the fissure and tell the bot to attack it. Will do. Will do. Um. What is this cable doing, by the way? Oh, is this where the observer came from? All right. Allied Observer. Ah, I see. Rockfisher. Observer to the rescue. Good work. Although it kind of got destroyed right. in the process. Let's get across and over the ridge. 
right. Make sure they don't get inside. A triple share to whoever brings me their sweet implants. Man, I hate her. Time to fight. Okay, so now we can inside. finally attack them. Arasos might have something to say about that. Take them out. Okay. And yeah, this is not the best place to uh, test my new profile with all the lava around. I would just charge myself into a dangerous spot. Hold them here, Kranit. I'm making sure they can't follow. Shit, what's she up to? Kranit's that Krogan outlaw we keep running into. <laughs> Looks like we'll run into him one more time. Probably so. <laughs> what the so hell? Long, losers. There we go. No, no, no. Kalinda's part the way. Oh, well, we need to deal with these guys over here. Pathfinder. Which includes Granite. Oh, he's going to charge me. Yep, but we still have his friends over here. Um, is that all of them? No, we still have someone over here. Up there, above the gate, another power node. There's got to be a console for the dispenser around here. Okay, I think I think I know the drill by the now. The console here will summon an alert. Observer to repair the damaged gateway node. I bet this console controls the dispenser. Which one? This one over here? Let's try it. Scanning the disabled node will direct the Allied Observer to it. Sam really explains every step of the way, right? <laughs> okay, there we go. To open the dormant gate, the conduit node needs repair. Alright! We're back in the game. Okay. Let's move on. This is it. The signal source is in the next chamber. I'm reading more dispensers for allied observers. I'll keep that in mind. So... Can't get a bead on the device. Let's drop to the cavern floor. Um... Yeah, let's have a look at this. place for an ambush. Funny, that's exactly what I thought. Oh, great. Um... We have some Adi here. Kalinda, you asked to give it up. There's a piece of pure, uncut programming tech in here. Plus, you want it, so there's no way I'm giving up. You, you really have quite the chip on your shoulder, huh? What does this one do? Pathfinder, I highly recommend using the consoles to summon allied observers. I think I just did that. Yes, I did. Very good. But yeah, this woman is starting to annoy me. Shit, oh, this is our remnant. Really? Not really. <laughs> enemies! Okay. Well, we will defeat the next wave of enemies too if we have to. Careful, grenade! What the hell? Not even close. But I will have to go on a recruiting spree after this. Yeah, and you will have to get a few new hydras. Again, why are all the bad people so 
well equipped. Grenade! Seems like every single hide where we brought in this galaxy in the hand of the bad guys, huh? Okay, but we are almost done with this guy. You see, Kalinda? It's fruitless. Silence? Don't like the sound of that. The signal source is beyond the next rise. Let's go get it. Okay. Seems like this is all of the equipment and manpower she can throw at us. So give me a second to pick up my loot and then I will investigate this. Oh, we have another concert over here. Oh, this is another another friendly remnant. Not sure if I still need that one though. Look, over that pool of lava, another power node. Scan it so our friendly observer will enable it. All right. Doesn't feel very safe though, <laughs> but okay, let's do it. Linda's already there. We gotta get across. Are you kidding me? How many guys does she have? Ah. Kalinda's about to get the device. And she's off. <laughs> you won't make it, Kalinda. Too late, gal. It's mine. Damn it! Careful there. Shit. Go. I'm good. Give me help. I'll give you everything I've got. All the relics. Everything worth anything. Oh. I know where this Please. is going. I don't want to die. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, mm. what? I don't want her to die, Ryder. But the device, it's not worth her life. Oh. Okay. Well, um, ooh. Yeah, no. If if PB wants to save her, then I'm not going to stop her. I mean, I have no personal problem with her. I mean, she's annoying, but I think it's, it's PB's decision, and uh, I don't think I should interrupt that. <sighs> wow. That was close. Time to go, huh? Baby, thank you. Listen, no heart. Oh, <laughs> fuck! Finally beat you to the punch. I've got two shuttles waiting. Follow me. Yeah, um, we're going to take your shuttle, I suppose. I mean, we killed so many of your men. There should be enough space. Let's get out of here! Oh, I'm on a timer. Hurry, this way! Yes, I'm... I'm hurrying. Move it, Slowpokes! You didn't save me just to watch me die, did you? Why don't you just call me a slowpoke? Never. Hey, look! The escape pod! Well, there goes my bedroom! Oh, it's over here. Hurry up! This flight has to take off! The final stretch! Well, we made it. And we had still like half of the time left. Okay, so um, I guess this concludes the mission. We didn't get the ram tag, but I hope we solved um, the issues between the two of them. Hey, stranger. How are you doing? Has she delivered? We just received a massive shipment of remnant tech, quite valuable. And this. Pelisaria, with my compliments, my crew won't bother you again, and you're dead. Always Kalinda. Um, are you sure she's sincere about it? So she made good on her promise. She still doesn't strike me as someone to trust. 
Being a fingertip away from death can change a person. Still, best if we scan everything she sent over. <sighs> Better safe than sorry. I just wish we could have had that device. The scan data does provide a glimpse into how Remnant acquire programming, though. So we missed out on a key to unlocking secrets of the tech, but maybe came away with a glass to listen at the door. We do have a little bookkeeping matter to discuss. Ah, oh, nuts. Yeah, <laughs> the Tempest is light, one escape pod. That's gonna cost me, isn't it? Um, yes, literally. Um, I'm not sure what she means by that, so uh, it's okay. Um, we're going to replace it somehow, I'm sure. We'll get a new one the next time we dock at Nexus. Don't sweat it. Wow. Thanks, Ryder. But until then, what do I do for a bedroom? <laughs> I mean, you're usually not that picky. I mean, you've been sleeping in an escape pod. I think we have like a random empty room next to my uh, loadout locker. How about you sleep there or whatever? <laughs> Didn't you say you can sleep anywhere? Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> okay, there we go. Loyalty earned. Nice. And yeah, I suppose we didn't get the ram tag, but I mean, you made a decision and I respect you for that. Saving her life over taking the ram tag. But yeah, um, let's try to talk to her again. Hey yeah, what's shaking? Um, I don't know, do you have anything new to say about Kalinda maybe? Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? She keeps sending us ram tech, no strings attached. It's hard to believe she's turned over a leaf. When we were close, there were periods when she was sugar sweet. They never lasted. So I'm not counting any chickens. I'm just mixing metaphors. So I assume you were lovers at some point? Were you two intimate? Take a wild guess. Why are people so hung up on sex? It's a natural expression of attraction. We were doing exciting, daring, irreverent things. It stirs stuff up. Like shaking a bottle of champagne, you know? <laughs> you should know. Better than anyone. I'm not the type to save myself. I see. But uh, why did you break up? What happened to end the relationship? <laughs> Which time? She'd thrown me aside so many times, I felt like a yo-yo. Each more cruel than the last. She'd come back with sweet talk, apologize profusely, tell me her feelings were so intense she got scared, yada yada. Until she disappeared, right around when I found my first remnant ruin. So I threw myself into that. To be honest, she sounds a bit like an asshole, but um, <laughs> I mean it's your decision. Like I said, if you want to save her, I respect that. and. I, I don't see why Ryder should interfere with that. I mean, I suppose if Ryder was like really hell-bent on getting that remnant tag, then she might want to um, prevent PB from saving her. But in the end, it seems to be like a business between the two of them. And I, sh I feel I shouldn't just overrule her decision here. Yeah, but tell me more about your time together. Tell me more about the two of you. After she woke me from stasis, I was living off-grid, right? She set me up, got me ID cards, access to resources. I thought we were a team. She was the society lady, proper, established, powerful, living vicariously through me. She introduced me to her circle, showed me off, called me her little rogue. I felt special. Hmm. But apparently now she's an outlaw. Did you know she was working with the exiles? Had no idea blows my mind she was leading a double life. Nexus aristocrat by day, thrill-seeking outlaw boss by night. I realize now how little I knew about her. Makes me question everything. Okay, but I mean, now that it is over, we can finally move on, right? Let's talk about something else. Yes, please. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if... I want to ask any of that. I mean, this one gave me some new dialogue, so maybe she has a new project or whatever. How's your current project looking? We didn't get the device, but the scan data could help us use Remtech to augment more of our systems. Who knows? Maybe someday we'll have remnant-infused ships, or even learn how to travel space in new ways. 
For the foreseeable future, though, I'll just be in research and study mode. Well, um, sounds good enough to me. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Okay, so we finished this quest, and that means we only have one loyalty mission left, which is Vetra's, and it's on that new planet H047C, which, um, as far as I heard, is just a very small one, so it's not going to take as long as Aladdin or any of the other planets. Um, but yeah, as you can see, um, my quest journal is getting pretty empty. I may actually want to do that, because I just have to talk to Suvi about it. And since I'm right over here, let's do it now. It's almost unbelievable that some of the cat would be fighting their own. The cat always seems so monolithic, almost faceless. Yeah, but um, we don't really know that much about them. There's so much we still don't know about how their society functions. The stuff you've brought in is helping shed some light on those questions. Speaking of which, this device you found at that destroyed cat ship. It's secured with a biometric lock that can only be activated with a specific genetic code. So, like a fingerprint scan, except with a genetic fingerprint. Exactly. Whatever's in this, it's probably only meant for trusted individuals. So, how would I do that? Do I have to capture a cat and then I can use a cap the cat DNA to open it? So, you're saying I have to track down some cat? But that would be impossible, writer. Remember those cat genetic samples you scanned on Vault? Lexi's been working on the data, and I have an idea that just might work. We should go talk with her when you have time. Okay, um, how about now? I mean, I don't have anything else to do. I probably don't have any new mail. Actually, I do, from BB, the embarrassed. Thank you and sorry, I shouldn't have ambushed you like that. I should have trusted that you'd be just as driven as I was to head down to Pass 10 and find the source of that signal. I should have been more collaborative and more of a ugh, team player. Guess I have some growing to do, who knew? Hey, usually when someone says it's not you, it's me, they're breaking up with you. If I actually send this, please delete upon reading. Nope, I'm going to archive it. <laughs> but okay, um, apparently we have some insights from PB. But I mean, my writer's pretty chaotic herself, so I guess she does not really mind such irresponsible actions. <laughs> I can I can understand why other people would have a problem with that though, you know. Most of the people on the ship are kinda unreasonable at times, um, with the possible exception of Cora and maybe Jal. The rest they do kinda like to take risks and do stuff that may not always be the most reasonable stuff. Anyway, let's go and talk to Lexi. Got your memo, Suvi. Data's right here, but I'm not sure what you're expecting to find. Tell me you have it all sequenced. Yes, of course. It was the first thing I... Perfect. Sam, can you test combinations of sequences against the lock? Testing. Brute force, Dr. Anwar? Tried and true methods. And with Sam's processing speed, it should take no time at... Key found. Whoa. We <laughs> thought it was a data log, but, it, but it's not. It's... It's... Uh... It just locked onto a transmission. Well, um, that could be dangerous. Does it compromise our security? The device is a receiver. It will not reveal our location. This transmission is audio. The Archon has abandoned our way. Spurn's tradition defies protocol. He abuses his authority, obsesses over remnant secrets, and keeps us cut off from home. This cannot continue. He will return to the path of right or be destroyed. This is my promise. An Archon stands tall only while we hold him up. Okay, so there is definitely some opposition to the Archon. I'm not sure if that makes um, my friend, just because they're the enemy of my enemy. You should be careful with stuff like that. Someone's really upset at the Archon. A collectivist culture would take a harsh view of any action that defied the will of the group. And isolating the Ket here would breed resentment. They may feel... Abandoned. Ket feeling abandoned? 
Some things are universal. I wonder if there's a way to trace the signal. Scanning for nav point. I'll transmit it to your Omni tool, in case you want to check it out. What do you think we'll find out there? I don't know. It might be a base of Ket dissidents organizing against the Archon. Whatever it is, please be careful, Ryder. Mm-hmm. Locate the source of the signal on ears. Yeah, I, I have the feeling that the dissidents may still want to exalt us all, so I'm not sure if they're going to be an ally. Um, but apparently I can't continue this quest right away, I have to go back to ears. So um, I would say I'm, I'm going to make a cut here. Uh, I have some ideas of what to do next episode. I will probably go back to the Nexus and do some stuff. But for now, let's call it a day as usual. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.